have you ever heard somebody say to you something like, I don't believe in God, I believe in science? Or as one Oxford professor once put it to me, he said, science has buried God. In other words, you religious people are just idiots and you need to catch up. Many people think that science and Christianity are entirely at war with each other. And if you're going to be a scientist, you have to forget about something as uh, superstitious as Christianity. I want to suggest something to you, though, totally radically different to that. What about the idea that Christianity is actually the only firm foundation from which you can do science? You see, let's consider two worldviews for a moment. We have Christianity, we have atheism. Which best explains science? Well, it's interesting that all of the founding fathers of science who first got the scientific method going, they were all Christians. Why? Because they believed in a God who was rational and coherent, and who had created a world that was rational and coherent and logical, and therefore you could investigate it expecting to find pattern and order. And one of the big questions for science is how do we explain the stability of the universe? How do we explain the beautiful laws and mathematical equations that lie behind reality? Christianity explains that far more than the randomness of atheism. But we can push even further. What's the best way of explaining why we should do science in the first place? If you're an atheist, perhaps the best you can do is you might say, well, look at the outcomes. I'm researching a cure for cancer or for folk music appreciation or one of those wonderful things. You can justify your science. You know, my science benefits humankind. But I had a friend a few years ago whose PhD was in the mating habits of a particular type of ant in the Amazonian rainforests. And I would ask her, why are you doing this? And her answer was always the same. She would say, well, I'm doing it because it's interesting. It's just a good thing to uncover truth. I think she's absolutely right. But that's a Christian answer, not an atheist answer, because it assumes that pursuing truth is a good thing in and its own right. On atheism, why is it good to know what is true? It's hard to answer that question. For Christians, on the other hand, we believe in a God who is truth itself, the source of all truth. And pursuing truth is therefore good in and of its own right, because it reflects the character of God. But more than that, science sits on something much deeper. And in fact, science points to something much deeper. The reason that science is so important is because lying behind the universe is not just the banging together of atoms or impersonal scientific laws, but is a God who put this universe together intricately and beautifully. And therefore, when we do science or any human endeavor, and we do so honestly and with integrity, we are again reflecting the character of the God who put the universe together, who wrote his characteristics into that universe, and who created you and I in his image. One further problem, too, for trying to ground science on atheism. Science sits on the foundation that telling the truth about your results is a good thing. It's not considered good in science to lie about your findings, to fudge your statistics, perhaps to get that research grant or that publication in the journal that you're lusting after. But why is it wrong to lie about your results? That's an ethical statement that science itself can't ground. On atheism alone, why is it right and good to tell the truth? very hard to give a purely atheistic answer. On Christianity, on the other hand, we don't just believe in a God who is a source of all truth, we believe in the God who is a source of all goodness, who is goodness itself, and therefore as human beings made in his image, it is good and right to live in allegiance with that. Christianity gives the firmest foundation, the best foundation for doing science in the first place. Why it's good to pursue truth, why it's good to do that in a way that is good and true and has integrity behind it. Christianity, I believe, gives the only foundation where science actually works. Don't rip science and God apart, put them back together again.